Okay, this is a calculus exam review. We have the population of a city is given by P of T, and the units are 1,000 people. So P, the units for P are 1,000 of people. T, the units in T is number of years since 2010. P of T, you put in the number of years since 2010, it spits out a thousand of people in the population of a city. Now we come along and we have G. And the number of garbage trucks needed by the city and so that is a function of the population G is a function of P but P is a function of T and so we get G is a function of P, who's a function of T. It's called a composite function, a function inside of a function. And so they're asking us, what are the units of DG, DT? The derivative of this, DG, DT. If you want the units of that, what you do is just put the units of G divided by the units of T. And so the number of garbage trucks per year since 2010. Trucks per year since 2010 to be precise, garbage trucks to be precise. And so trucks per year would be the answer to that question. Question two. This year, the Cincinnati Zoo will sell 10,000 tickets. This number is increasing by 200 tickets every year. The price of a ticket is currently $20 and is increasing by $2 per year. So, They'll sell 10,000 tickets. That's the quantity sold. This year. And this is changing by the fact that it's going up by 200 tickets every year. That's a rate of change. That's a derivative. If we call this uh, Q, quantity sold, quantity of tickets sold, then this, uh, as a function of time, this year, you'll sell 10,000. Then we have the derivative, dq dt, tickets per year. Okay, next we move to the price of a ticket. The price of the ticket is currently $20. Price is a function of time as well. 
and it is increasing by two dollars per year that's a rate that's going to be dp dt then next they talk about revenue let's build the revenue function revenue is how much money you have coming in from ticket sales and how much money you have coming in is the price of the ticket times how many tickets the quantity so revenue as a function of time is equal to P as a function of time times Q as a function of time. We want to know at what rate is the revenue of the Cincinnati Zoo changing this year. This is a product. So we would employ the product rule to take the derivative of R with respect to T. What we'll do is take the derivative of P with respect to T times that by Q and then add to that, uh, leave P alone and multiply by DQ DT. And so we take two times 10,000 and we add to that 20 times 200 dp dt times q plus p times dq dt so that's going to be 20,000 and then we have another 4,000 on top of that for the answer 24,000 per year dollars per year Okay, great. Let's do one more on this video. F of seven is six. F prime of seven is 2.4. They want us to estimate the function at 7.5. The way we're gonna do that is with the linearization. It's a fancy way of saying tangent line the linearization is going to be equal to the derivative at 7 times x minus 7 plus the function at 7 that's the linearization it's going to be this 2.4 times x minus 7 and then we add on the 6 that's your linearization you use it to approximate your function and so we have to plug in the function at 7.5 is approximately equal to the linearization at 7.5 which is you plugging in 7.5 to this tangent line equation. 7.5 minus 7 is 0 0.5. 2.4 times the 0 0.5, because the order of operations, you gotta do that first. Half of 2.4 is 1.2 and you add on the six, and what you get is 7.2, letter B. Let's try to fit one more in. The cost to produce V violins is A of V, 1,500 plus half V, and that's in dollars. 
V is a separate function of T. The number of violins is the production cost. And uh, V is the number of violins produced in the year, T. This is number of violins. produced in the in year T. Uh, in 2012, there were 200 violins produced. Production is decreasing by five violins per year. So V of 2010, oh sorry, 2012, is equal to 200. This decreasing is going to be the derivative five violins every year. But negative because it's decreasing. That's a negative derivative. And so, then we put together the function A, who is a function of V, but V is a function of T. And so, uh, the way that works is that this is a composite function, so we need the chain rule. And the chain rule is going to be that you take the derivative of A, Evaluated at V, and then you multiply by the derivative of V with respect to T. I know I'm using uh, bad notation. Let me let me just stick to one format of the derivative. Uh, let's do the D notation: dA dV times dV dt. That's a derivative of. Uh, so a is a function of v, who's a function of t, and the derivative of a with respect to t is equal to this. So we take the derivative of a with respect to v. Here's a with respect to v. Its derivative, the 1500 derivative is 0. The half V derivative is one half. We have what dV dt is. It's a uh, negative five in the year 2012. Um, if there was a, this, this, this 200 looks like you didn't use it. Um, if there was a V in the derivative, we would plug that into there, but um, dA dV. Uh, but there's no V there. There's a constant. So that's why it looks like we're not using this number 200, but that's okay. Um, dV dt is negative 5. And so dA dt is negative 5 halves in the uh, negative 2.5 violins per year. Okay, great. So that'll be it. We'll pick up with part two on um, starting with question number five.